Infinitely Beautiful Friends, it's me Stormy and here is your horoscope for the week of September 17th, which is going to be such a nice week because we have a season change happening this week, which is really exciting. So I'm excited to jump into that and talk to you about that. But before I start talking about that, make sure you are taking advantage of the holiday gift that is up. It is in the description box down below or you can come to stormygrace.com. It gives you space to book appointments in September, September, I'm lying, October, <laughs> November, December, and January because there's a lot of movement going on, a lot of things happening, so we maybe want to talk about it, go over things, so take advantage of your holiday discounted appointments, okay? All right, so this week, changes are coming. I really like it. I've got a different background. I'm recording with a different camera, so change is definitely in the air over here with Stormy Grace, and our season is going to change. This is important to understand because in Western astrology, we follow the seasons, not the constellations. So we've got a season change. We've got a sign change. We've got a square that is pretty serious and a nice trine as well. So let's walk through the week, okay? Right here at the beginning of the week, on Tuesday, which will be the 18th, <laughs> we've got Mars and Uranus coming into a square. Now, this is their third and last um, square for this year, okay? So if you haven't watched my video on the Mars and Uranus squares, check them out in the playlist, okay? Now, here's the deal. With this one, Mars is forward, not in retrograde energy at all, but Uranus is in retrograde. And even so, what we're hoping, what I would love to see with this particular energy is that any of the conflicts that you've had, whether they be personal, whether we're looking at things in the world um, globally, right? For countries, whatever it is, the issues and the challenges that have been coming up for each of us, hopefully this square energy gives us the energy to, and the courage to create a resolution, take some new innovative actions, actions that are maybe creative and different than anything we ever thought of, right? Now here's the deal, remember you guys, when we're dealing with a square energy, yes, it makes things tense, right? But what a square is also doing is trapping you in a box and it's pushing you under pressure. So what you will do so that you don't get squished and flattened out is you will take an action to get out of the box. This is an actionable energy. Now it could come with an energy of conflict. Maybe you stand up for something. Um, Maybe someone runs into you and this is conflict and then you have to take an action, whatever it is. The thing I like about it is that I feel like this particular action with this third and last square to these two can be to resolve to end something, to move something forward and away from the conflict. So keep me posted on what that looks like for you this week and really through the end of the month with that particular um, aspect, okay? Now we get a little bit of, um, we get out of such serious energy, I think, as we get towards the end of the week. We've got on Friday the 21st, we've got Mercury entering into the sign of Libra. So this is a very nice energy anyways. And then it moves into a trine with Mars on Sunday the 23rd. So this is great because first of all, this sign change for Mercury is moving into a very friendly sign, a very friendly energy. It's positive. A trine is a beautiful pocket of energy, wisdom, opportunity that we can be using. So energy energetically, what's happening is, first of all, we could be rational, we could be just, because Libra is just, it is rational, it wants to bring harmony, it wants diplomacy and fairness. So rationally, which is Mercury energy, we could be trying to be fair with people. We could also be being a lot more courteous with people, right? We're kind of seeing things their way. With this Mars energy here being in a trine, we're also able to move some things forward. So we'll be using these energies for over the next three weeks so you have a chance to be kind, rational, just, balance kind of your life and make some pretty sane decisions, I think, okay? Now, backing up just a date, on Saturday the 22nd is when the sun moves, in, moves into Libra and we have the first day of the autumn equinox and I am so pumped. Fall is my favorite season because this is the time where we've done all of this work. We traveled through these other seasons and here in fall, just like any good tree would do, we have to lose the leaves and the branches that do not work and do not serve us and don't fit and have died off for us, which means we are in a season of change, right? Now, because this is an equinox, and equinox means equal night, this is also a great chance for us this week, especially at the end of the week, to start looking at 
Where's the equilibrium of your life? Where do you feel unbalanced? You know, is it work home unbalanced? Is it um, work health? Where do you feel like you need to achieve a little bit more balance? And I would love to hear from you in the description box down below, in the comment section down below. Let me know where are you feeling like you need a little bit more balance, okay? Now, the other thing I will point out to you is that because we do have so much Libra energy going on and we have Mercury in Libra, while you're trying to look at your balance, this is a great time to be doing it because Libra is very much so a yes sign or Libra is very much so a giving sign, right? So what you want to be mindful of is that you're not saying yes to situations, circumstances, jobs, whatever that you don't actually want to be in. Stop, pause, take a deep breath for a minute. Say, do I really want to be involved with this? Do I see value in this, right? And if you don't want to, spend this next season, season, you see what I'm saying? I didn't say a week, I said a season. <laughs> spend this season practicing saying no, no, thank you, thank you, but no, thank you. And not having to say yes to all of these things. And remember, the purpose is to find your balance. You cannot cannot expect to have all of this superior balance in the outside of your world if the inside is super on tilt, right? It will manifest in our outside world as well and definitely in our emotions. So we're slowing down. It's um, pumpkin spice latte season. I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm really, it's, it's, I'm really a fan. So we're going to enjoy that over this next um, few months. So I enjoy, I hope we get to enjoy spending fall together. And I look forward to seeing too, you guys. Let me know in the comment section, what are your fall traditions where you're from? If you're from another country, if you're from just another culture, what are your fall time traditions that you have going on? I know it is pumpkin pie and delicious foods and clove smell over here and lots of family gatherings. So let me know what you guys do as part of your um, autumn season tradition, all right? All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Feel free to let me know what you think about the background and the camera. There's going to be a lot of playing around with different things in the background um, for me. So I look forward to getting a little bit of your feedback, okay? I love you guys, and I'll see you next week. Bye.